Welcome, this is Dr. Tracy K. I love you in this place. Welcome to another claim my card, pick a card reading. So glad to have you. If you haven't already done so, subscribe so you can get notifications of when these get posted on my social media or YouTube or my Facebook channel, which is the facebook.com slash working it out series. Um, you can also subscribe to my podcast. If you understand how these are, um, I post in advance prior to these readings what we'll be doing coming up. That way you can look at the cards and pick them. And you can find out what is, say you have something you're seeking answers on. He'll guide you to these things to help you understand what path to take and also dive in deeper so let's get started we just dealt with a super moon so we are going to um do a moon card reading this is a free moon card reading but I want you'll be thinking of a question that you choose and you'll pick one moon card for your reading. So you can take a look at these cards. You have group one, group two, and group three. Pause the video, take a deep breath, and then you can click to that card group to get your reading. I, as a metaphysician, will be your guide. Remember, this is not set in stone. You have free will to change your destiny. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, when you're ready, we will be pausing to click to go to for group number one group number one this is your reading it is the key um, the key here is a sign of unlocking something hidden um, if you look here the key is in gold with jewels on it it is in a hand of the universe with mountains and air and flowers and gardens and in front it holds the key to your potential to your hidden opportunities is there something that you are looking for in this um it's a beautiful golden metal lock this is the key you will be given to hidden to hide those potentials and what is it that you would like to unlock well i want to explain to you that the key represents a significant area of your life that symbolizes um, unhidden uncovering emotional or spiritual debts your intuition should be trusted discovery and knowledge is at your thing it's the hand is opening to you. Um, you must trust this key. I'm giving you this key as a trust of symbol of trust and authority. It is a sign. You've earned the right to get the answers to the complex questions and solving them dauntingly. So the card has a very intriguing scene. Yes, it's mystical. There's power in this golden key. It's the background of it is velvety, inky black, mystery and secrecy. Ooh, don't you just want to know what's behind when you unlock that lock, right? It's a signal of decisive action. It invites you to finally unlock the door. It's been remained closed for so long. I'm sure you're frustrated, group one. You might find that these things you assumed were forbidden or beyond your reach are now within your grasp. Obstacles and barriers that you've been dealing with in your life, it now can be unlocked. It's 
going to be so freeing. And now you're given the opportunity to explore new realms and possibility. I am going to tell you, Group 1, you need to unlock your inner potential. Self-growth, find the hidden treasures, look within yourself, there is there to unlock. Consider this key that I'm giving you today, knowledge, resources, and relationships. This will unlock your true potential. It pops up here because it indicates a need for a problem-solving situation in your life. Perhaps there's a situation that it needs to be unlocked. Maybe it's been locked, it's stagnant, it's tough, it's frustrating, I'm sure. What this key means for you today, Group 1, it's time for you to use the knowledge and abilities that you're being offered to accumulate. And it will signify that it's time to unlock a new section of your life. Confronting this, here it is, I'm giving you the key. It is a sign that you will receive a solution an insight, and maybe an unexpected surprise. Feel empowered when you unlock the key. Okay? Aren't you going to want to unlock? So I'm in this reading giving you the key, my dear group one. So if you want to find out what those hidden treasures are, What's been that you need to unlock that's been stagnant or blocked? I'm offering you an opportunity to do that right now. So you just need to check out some of my resources that I'm giving you with this. Um, books, knowledge, wisdom. Plus, I'm also offering you to dive deeper into what you want to seek. Find that also in the description. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Group 1. Let me know how it resonates with you. And if it unlocks something that you were wanting to, you know, receive as in a treasure. In the comments below, okay? Take care, group one, and I'll see you on the next reading. Now we'll be moving on to group number two. Group number two, this is the card that was chosen for you. Um, it is a broken wand. There's a beautiful maiden here, brown hair, purple robe. That kind of reminds me of me because <laughs> I love purple and that's my hair flowing. So. But anything with wands in it, group two, is about fire, about action, about strength. You see she's standing in a field. She's on some um, flowers, white flowers here. There's a field. There is water. And there's two people, males and female energies behind it. What is, you can use this to whatever you're seeking on your questions. Um, the wand has not fallen, but it is cracked and broken. So that tells me there's some kind of deception in your situation. It could be in a relationship or it could be with your job. Um, there's a turning away. There's also seems to be some shame here. Some of you might be dealing with um, a cheating situation here. You find that this broken one, you need to have the strength to push through it. So this card here is giving you the strength to push through. You need to not turn away. You see there's a turning away here. I'm. This is telling me that um, your situation, you thought that was solid, whether it be a job, a relationship, or even a project, is not as stable as you may seem. Okay, I'm just telling you. It is causing you stress and uneasiness. Um, just like those individuals behind her, that behind her in that card, you are emotionally detached from the people around you, turning your blind eye to the issues at stake. Uh, you're disconnected. Maybe there's been some disagreements and disputes. 
that's fueling this decision of uh, uh, unity. You're withdrawn, closing your eyes. You're resistant to face that problem at hand. I guess you are, aren't you? Turmoil. Ugh. The truth of the betting is, is there's some false things going on here. The white flowers are standing upon that symbolization of deception. You might need to reassess and expect that. Um, initially, she stands very strong with the wand broken. That tells me you've got to have strength in these hard times, group two, like I just said. There are some jagged edges on this broken wand. That tells me that there's a powerful imperfection of disruptions, but she holds on to those fragments. You notice that? Like I said, it's not falling. That tells me you're able to face it. You're facing it. Good for you. And if you haven't and you don't know it, you face it. Certain degree of control. You have control. Nothing is keeping you out of shape, so you're, you need to take that into consideration Reorder your life and reshape it. This is definitely um, true to me that's coming across. And that also means maybe some crossroads. You need to face it. It, it, it. You need to face it. Ask yourself, group two, what areas in your life currently feel disrupted or unstable? And this is your answer. And you need to approach these disruptions and turn them into opportunities for growth. Expanding. Don't find yourself avoiding it. Face it, succumb to it, and you will step into a new alignment. And so that's what I'm seeing as the meaning for you today on this reading. Is you need to effectively, don't feel just, you need to effectively push through it. You are supported. Um, you have the jagged edge facing it. And you will lead, it'll lead you to a stronger foundation for your life and your relationships. A sense of a conversation or a big decision, it will bring that unity and balance to you. Not a bad thing, okay? Not a bad thing. Don't worry. I see it offering opportunities and growth. This will lead you to that. So, group two, if you want more about this, um, please do so and find the resources that you need to dive deeper into your situation. And you'll find that in the instructions and description box, or you can find it also on the pick a free pick card readings blogspot. Tons of resources and knowledge. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please comment and let me know how it resonates. Take care. All right, we're pausing. Ready? We're going to be moving on to group three. Group three, this is what was drawn for you. <clears throat> um, this is the quarter, the last quarter moon. Okay. Ooh. Look at this card. You see on the right, you have a beautiful maiden, brown hair. Enchanted forest, lots of growth, light, airy, and love. On the left side, you have the male, indiscretion, very feeling distraught, dark shadows, and crows flying at him. Hmm. He's, you're, it, whoever this is, whatever you're seeking, you're seeking some serenity, some peace, some help, some support, right? So let's go into this even further. And she, this, she's kissing her lover under this moon. But he, he metaphors this into a crow. There's crows flying. He need, he look, he's, he's changed. Um... There's a symbol of, of some negativity, some shadow. The energy is strong, but yet coming out of that cold area of your life, the kiss on the forehead is your third eye. She's kissing on a third eye, which is turning into a harvest time. The harvest coming up, which is 
giving some fruitation, some beauty, some light. There's a cycle here. It's making room for you to onset for a new one. So it's a reflection. It's a conclusion. It's balancing the energies and that are from this last full moon. Or when you're re watching this, it could be of that full moon now. Depends. So that's a time that I suggest that you make it time for completion and, and let go of something that no longer serves you. A nature of change. Okay. Um, like I said, water behind their island. Water is about flow and transformation, personal transformation. The lover is into a crow, flying at it. But I see something that means in order to step into the light, it's like a twilight story, I guess. You get that enchantment? See that? You know what I'm, you know how that is. The background. You know what I'm talking about, right? So the power is in the metaphysical, magical, fantasy, enchantment, a natural process of experience. So what you need to do is let go that no longer serves you. Reach out and end it. End it and embark on a new journey. It requires a sacrifice to be made in order to be transformed. So this last quarter moon in your life card is to embrace those changes coming your way and release and let go. Don't allow it to stay connected to you. Because if you don't, it's going to be keeping you in the shadow. You need to go by your gut feelings. Your subconscious may be also in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. There might be some messages there. An end of a cycle of life in a new direction. Don't fear. Don't fret. Let go and use and i'm giving you a tool of faith and grace today this will give you the best outcome to lay at the changes the thresholds of the changes the mountains the growth of the tree everything's dead on his side isn't it transformation the kiss of the third eye spiritual growth is there something that you seek for spiritual growth you need this um, there's a kissing her lover. It could be in a relationship. It could be anything in your life spiritually. It could be a past life that you've not let go. There's lots of tools I can offer you, group three. Um, karma release, breaking, transforming. If you, you should have done that ritual, but if you didn't do it, you can probably, you should do it the next time going towards the full moon. So you can get it. That's definitely tell you. Read up on what the last quarter moon can help you and guide you in regards to meanings that way. I hope you enjoyed this group three. And if you want to get more into debt and get more on that, you need to check out my sponsors and offers and resources below in the description box. But enjoy your reading. Let me know how it resonates with you in the comment box. Let me know in messages. And I'll see you on the next reading. And with the further to do, I'd like to also give you an opportunity with our sponsor. And that would be um, the Zen Collection. We offer this as a waterfall Zen Collection, relaxing, reflecting, renewing. It comes with free cones. You have all kinds of tools to, to get reduced cortisol levels, to increase memory and focus, lift moods, alleviate stress. It's environmentally safe, pet friendly, and I'm offering it to you today. It has a lot of different designs for your decor. I have one. I love it. It's so wonderful. The cones are amazing. And they purify the air. So get that right now. And join as a member, become a member, and VIP, you get full access to lots more. Than Pick a card reading, pay my card reading, but courses, offers, free stuff, and a guide for you on personal things that you're looking for, okay? Thank you so much for coming to share your practice with me today, and I'll see you on the next Claim My Card, Pick a Card Reading.